What up, y'all? This is Nate Hill coming at you with another video. This is going to be something different. Um, these are going to be consilient stories. So I brought you the introduction. I brought you the my takes. And now these ones are going to be consilient stories. These are going to be um, consilience kind of in action or kind of from a perspective from a, a certain a certain job or a, a certain way of handling things. Um, so yeah, uh, the context is pretty much the introduction to let you know what consilience is and kind of like how it pertains to the creative process, the you know uh, the ideation process, and conceptualizing, and then you know planning an application. Then my takes is like what I'm bringing to the table and uh or to the topic or to uh the, the subject matter and now this one's going to be where I, I put it into a story so you can kind of immerse yourself in an environment and have yourself connected with a character and see uh how this character uses consilience to solve a problem these are all these stories are pretty much going to be uh, solving problems um, and kind of converging on like a, a, a strong conclusion uh, to solve uh, the issues or issue at hand. So yeah, so here we go. Consilient story number one. The grocery manager. So what we're going to be taking a look at is the grocery manager. Some of the traits that this grocery manager has is he's a top tier manager runs a successful store and is a strong leader okay the beginning scenario okay routine department checks to make sure the store is up and running properly as this is happening the store manager starts to run into some problems so as he's you know going around checking around making his rounds he starts to run into some problems you know as every store, every manager kind of does. You know, that's part of the, the duties and the responsibility that comes with the job. All right, now some of the problems that, you know, he is encountering is the carts are not in the cart area. It's an empty cart area. The milk has spilled everywhere on aisle 10, yikes. The checkout lines are from here to Kansas, so they are, they're, they're all overloaded. Uh, and metal music, hardcore metal music is playing on the store's intercom system. Wow, so this dude on a Monday morning is going, going through it um, already. So. The consilient thinking and the consilient motors is definitely to make sure all this stuff gets back in order uh, and, and just take it down one by one. So you address the issue, okay, one by one. You don't want to be trying to do too much at once because then, you know, some, there's more chaos and more stuff can happen. You, your stress level can raise. So it's best to do one thing at a time, get to the rest in due time. So the carts are not in the cart area, it's empty cart area. So you would probably give one of the employees a delegate. So you gotta delegate, delegate, delegate. You probably get the employee to say, hey, uh, go round up the carts from around the store, from out in the parking lot and bring them all into the cart area. Boom. And then, you know, let them do that task. You go grab another employee, okay? And you would take them to aisle 10 and you would say, hey, go get a mop, uh, go get towels, paper towels, and, you know, anything that, you know, is pertaining to cleaning up the mess, tell them to go get that and report to aisle 10 to clean up the milk. Then I would get, depending on how many registers I have, uh, five or 10 registers. If there's 10, I'm probably gonna get 
five or six of like my best like registered people you know delegate them boom one two three four five six you guys just hammer it out uh and then probably get two or three bag boys bag gals and have them bag help them bag so that way those care those those customers just go go through the line go through the line go through the line then I'm going to change the music because the metal music that is very chaotic, very high, very intense, you know, just all over the place kind of music is not good for a, for a structural environment. So that's probably why I would change the music. I would probably change it to, you know, since we're kind of working hard, something kind of motivational. Uh, like a like a chant song, like we will, we will rock you, or something along that nature that kind of gets people kind of in the mood to get stuff done. And then once all the stuff is blown over, carts are in the area, milk is cleaned up, checkout lines are good. Then I would probably take it right back down to probably some some Zen music or some ambient music or some calm laid back music uh, to kind of relax the environment and kind of bring it back to uh, equilibrium. Uh, that is what I would do. So as you can see, yeah, so as he did the routine checks, he checked it out, there was, there was various issues, but he didn't panic, he didn't get overwhelmed, he used delegation, and he picked the right employees for the job to designate them to do those jobs. and. Over the course of time, the store restored itself back to equilibrium to getting the checkout lines uh, dialed down, the, the metal cleaned up, the carts back in there, and then the music changed from motivational to laid back, you know, uh, equalizing music. And that is pretty much consilient thinking and consilient motives, motivation at its finest. If you would have handled it in a different way, you know, you can comment below. I'm definitely willing to hear uh, some, some, some perspectives from that. If you would have handled it better. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. Consilient story number one, uh, grocery store manager. Uh, my name is Nate Hill, GC, Global Consilience. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Gathering what we know to help someone else. Much health, much wealth, much love. Signing off. Peace.